Okay guys, hi, welcome back. Now we are going to be running through the veteran version of M13, which has more objectives than the normal version, but for the level 50 players, for the advanced players, we've got the veteran one here. So in order to bring up expeditions, press N, content finder, PVE, expeditions, M13, what we want to do, we're going to check our role, DPS, do not find others, and join fight. So first step here is talk to Captain Milo. Don't run past him. There's a lore book right here too you can grab. For all you lore hunters out there. Now we've got to fight these marauders and make sure that these monkeys don't take the crystals. We have to save the red crystals. And in order to stop them from running away, all you have to do is aggro them. And then bring them back into the room with the crystal. And then where they die, they'll drop the crystal. You don't have to save every single crystal from getting away. But I wouldn't let more than three or four get through the door or you could get a silver medal. It's fairly easy to get back and forth and at least pull aggro on these monkeys so that they don't get running it through the door right? and then you can just bring them back into the room so that the next wave that comes through won't just grab the crystal and run through the door with it so now they'll drop the crystal in the room okay so now need to fix our bar <laughs> yes and I recommend bringing an interrupt for for this boss fight here so now we're gonna fight this guy and now he's gonna cast that we're gonna interrupt him okay now it's our turn to get crazy And down he goes. Okay, now we need to go to the asteroid surface. So we can put Leet back on, because we're going to be running around. Open up the control panel. And it'll take you outside. You can press escape to skip this part. So now out here, you need to collect 10 floating mining charges. And first one, right here to your left. Second one, hovering right over this asteroid right here. Third one. Keep going straight on over here. Right here. I recommend to get these. It's easiest if you fall down through them as opposed to trying to go left and right. You know, like going through them that way. Try to just go above them and then fall down into them. The fourth one, just up this hill right here. And fall down. And then the fifth one is just above this flower. Right there, you can get that. Sixth one, straight ahead, right here. Seventh one, you can go up over here. And then jump. And it's right here. And number eight. Right here. And then number 9 is right over there, and number 10 is right over there. Hurt. Oh, did I get it? I got it. Look at that. Out of the way. And get up here. And that's 10. Now we need to get to the foreman, who's just right up here. Follow the flares. And the foreman's just right up in here. Talk to him. Now we need to get the datacrons, and the datacrons are from the miners' bodies, the dead M13 miners' bodies. And when you get them, they're going to turn into mobs. Kill them, because they're going to chase you. Can't really get away from them. But, the miners' bodies are close enough that you can open one, you can dash, get over to another, and open it up fast, 
and then you can fight two packs of mobs at once instead of having to open up those datacrons like one at a time and fight them in one pack at a time. Just saves a bit of time. Let's open up this one, get over here, open up this one. Just gotta be quick, just give a dash, get over there. Open it up right away before the other pack spawns and gets to you. That's five. Now I'll grab this one right here, and then the one in front of the door. Okay, so that's nine. Now I just need one more. And it's right here. They're not always going to be in the same positions as what you just saw me run through here. They might uh, be in slightly different locations, but there's more than you need, and there's a bunch in this room right here. So, if you still, you might need eight or nine by the time you get into this room. But uh, there's ones everywhere, so that might be the last one, or you might have to grab that one there, or that one there, or there's another one over there. But once you have ten, then you can basically just pull the whole room, if you want. Or, you know, sneak through. Kill these guys in front of the door. Okay, and then we open it up. We need to gather outside the mine. And now we don't go in the mine yet because there's a spaceship's gonna come down. And they're gonna drop off some presents. More marauders. Womp. Kill the marauders. One more. If you want, you can bring an interrupt for this. You don't have to stick with leap. Depends on how well your damage is. And then run into the mine. And now we have to defeat the hive pods, infected miners, and the hive infectors. So just the dudes and the eggs. The eggs are really the best progression, and they don't fight back. <laughs> so kill as many eggs as you can. And here. And here. Get the eggs. Kill the eggs. And the egg. And you. That should be enough to get the queen to spawn up. And I'm actually going to bring an interrupt for this one. So I'm going to get rid of Leap. I'm going to use my kick. And kill the queen. Break out of the stun. And down she goes. And now we need to get to Milo's shuttle. So you're gonna run out of the mine, collect your eco particles if it's the space chase event, because that's awesome. And just up this way, and get into this circle. And there's gold rewards. And also, there you go, we've got merit tokens, we've got our bag. With our dies, we've got a tarnished elden gift and a ship for our plot. And these here give you gold and renown, and if you have a tier 2 contract, then you can basically take that contract, open up those renown tokens, and complete the contract instantly. Instead of having to get it through grouping with other players and running around killing stuff, or finding it in discoveries in the ground, you can take this and then open up four of these. 
And if you have more of them, you can save them in your personal bank, too. Take the contract. One, two, three, four. And it's just done like that. Easy peasy. Alrighty. And that is the veteran M13 expedition. Okay, more expedition videos coming with you guys soon.